steer it as we go in as well. Yeah, just swing it back in. Yeah, I'm good. It's gonna fall damn near straight in on both of mine. Yeah, we're in. Both of them? Yeah. Right up back. Yeah. Right. yeah. Center home. Yeah, yeah. Mine's all the way. All right, get some nuts on there. These have multiple holes drilled in them. Got that guy. Yeah, so we come around this way. All right. It's kind of a pain here. Wait. I'll try it out. <laughs> we can just red Loctite those bitches. Which I'm almost thinking we just do that. Mm -hmm. Red Loctite takes the heat and they're never gonna come out. But that's like the sure The part. right way, yeah, I know. So Might as well do don't, it. don't spend like three hours on it. Yeah. See if you can get her going. Jose, you plan on driving this car backwards? Yep. Why? What did I do? You saw the way around? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that a, I love that. He's very immediate with a response. Yep. Oh, yeah. Backwards. <laughs> These are way heavier than my race cars. It's got a little arrow on there to help show which way the uh, ventilation happens. Set you right up for that one, Jimmy. No there it is. Sometimes you gotta stop by and check out the quality control. Triple. Uh, <laughs> yeah, making killer progress on the car. Got uh, most of the front end uh, back together. Still have like the rad and the rad support and obviously the body, but um, yeah. Jose's jumping on getting the new Willwood big brake kit on here. 14 inch rotors, big stuff. It's awesome, looks really, really good. I'm liking it. You like it, Jimmy? Yeah, it's big brakes. Uh, big brakes, dude. Big, big, big brakes. It's old kit. It's funny, they're actually the same. Are they? Yeah, they're the exact same as these. Think about it. They are. They are the same. It's the same rotor. It is the same rotor. Wow. Big brake stuff. Uh, our hats are cooler. Yeah, our hats are cooler and our Pretty calipers good. are cooler. They do, Will Wood. <laughs> making us look cool. Yeah. <laughs> You know how I know this is a race car? It's got racing caliber. <laughs> it's what it's what everybody craves. <laughs> it's what cars crave. It's what cars crave. That shitty old brake smell. You're looking at my text, you fucking twat. <laughs> <laughs> So the next thing we got to do is spring up. Yeah. Uh, we're taking off the 6Ks that come on the BCs, uh, which is the off-the-shelf spring rates that they give you for these ZRs. We're bumping them up to Swift 8Ks. That's just a starting point. We might actually, I think we're going to end up a little steeper than that. But this is at least getting us um, a good starting point because I know the 6Ks are gonna to be too soft, especially when we get uh, that big tire back there. 
and uh, get the wing and everything pushing down. So I'm gonna have to bring this up because the spring's a little shorter too, which is no big deal. It's not like we're gonna pull a bind this thing. It's gonna be pretty solid. Right. That's it. What all has to come off on this? Uh, this top section right here. It just kind of sits on there, right? I'm gonna pull this hatch down. I don't know if it's the one for this car, but might as well try it. You wanna catch it? Yeah, just throw it down, dude. The next part of this build is obviously getting a big old fuel tank in it. We actually run like a six gallon in the pro car, but this car, since it's gonna be doing a little bit of endurance racing actually, we got a 15 gallon. And the cool part about uh, these radium cells, it's got the little fuel cell surge tank built right into it. So it's got a lift pump and then it's got the uh, actual feed pump. And they also make the pre-mounted cage for it as well. So this thing's just ready to drop in. You got the trunk on already? Yeah. I know, so this is a dry carbon save on trunk. Super light. We're gonna make a Lexan window for it. And yeah, we actually threw some clear coat on this one, so it's got a nice shine to it, but it is a dry carbon hatch. Same stuff we run on our race car. Super, super lightweight. So we're gonna put this guy in the back so that we get the extra weight that we're looking for in the back of the car. How's it going in? Is it welding easy? Yeah, it's not bad. Those corners are the ones that are gonna be a bitch. Yeah. All right, here you go. Oh no! Do it like do it again. I th I think you're like right on it, man. No, you can just zap it again. All right, I'm zapping this bitch. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> 32 mil socket and some elbow grease.
What did you find, man? Uh, looks like we got a diff cooler. Nice. I don't know, I gotta open it up, man. Looks like more brackets. Uh, I'm guessing this will probably hold the cooler itself. Looks like we have a pump somewhere. Pump right here. It's the pump right there. So uh, now we just gotta put it together. All right, I said, hey, Jose, let's do it. Put that pretty steel it black on there. Oh, that's the okay. oh that is too cool. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to uh, get the nose up. Hold on, I'm thinking I might be caught on something. Could be, yep, on that edge maybe? Yeah. All right, we're back. We got this guy taped up so we don't smoke it. Jose is setting this thing up. We're here ready to sneak this guy in here. Okay. So you want to pick it up over that guy? 